Now, in about three weeks, a NASA astronaut with ties to Colorado sets off for the International Space Station. Tjell Lindgren joins us live via satellite from his training center in Star City, Russia. So he is a graduate of the Air Force Academy with his master's from CSU, mm -hmm. a doctorate from CU. So, Shell, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. You, uh, you leave for the International Space Station. It's only two weeks away. How are you feeling about this? Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Oh, feeling great. You know, I've been training for about uh, two and a half years for this particular mission, and uh, I'm ready to go. So we understand this is your first mission to the International Space Station. Can you tell us a little bit about the training that goes into a mission like this? Yeah, absolutely. So after becoming an astronaut and, uh, and taking on a technical job in the office, you wait uh, to be assigned to a mission. And then once you're assigned, we, we start about a, a two and a half year training process. And so during that period, I've been learning the Russian language, um, been training on the robotic arm, how to do a spacewalk, training on the space station systems, and then also on the, the, the whole uh, breadth of research that we're going to be doing on the space station. You have been one busy guy. <laughs> You're going to stay on that space station for five months. What do you do during that time? That's quite a bit of time there. That is. And, you know, that's a, I think I feel very privileged to get to spend that amount of time on the space station. One of the things that I'm looking forward to the most is actually really learning how to live and uh, work in space for, for that long duration of time. And while we're up there, you know, we, uh, our main job is really to do research, to do uh, science, to uh, learn how to, to live in space, and also doing science for making um, life better on the Earth. Uh, we work out t two hours a day to, to stay healthy so that we can return in good shape. Um, and then we also take care of the space station. We do preventive maintenance to, to keep uh, the space station running. And if, any, if anything breaks down, uh, we, you know, we'll fix it. Well, we always love following the journey. What you guys do is so cool. So if people back here in Colorado want to keep up with what you're doing while you're in space, is it possible to do that? Absolutely. Um, there are constantly updates uh, going up on NASA TV, either through cable or online. Uh, and, and, and folks can certainly uh, use a search engine to find NASA TV online. Um, and there's, uh, there are several apps out there uh, for, for phones or computers so that you can uh, figure out when the space station is flying over your area. And if you look up in the sky during one of those passes, you'll see this very bright star uh, moving qu quickly through the sky. And uh, you can be sure that uh, when I'm flying over Colorado, I'll be taking pictures and looking down at you guys. Great. He, he'll be waving. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shell Linger, thank you so much for joining us live. Best of luck on your mission. By the way, if you want to follow That's him right. on Twitter, uh, we did this morning. Mm. It's a, he's, his spells his first name K-J-E-L-L. -L, and then Lindgren's L-I-N-D-G-R-E-N. So you can follow him on so Twitter. Cool.